Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the web components. So what are web components? Well, web components are a set of standards that enable creation of reusable encapsulated HTML tags. So basically, as you can see, they are just HTML tags. But what makes them powerful is the fact that whatever JavaScript you're going to write on them is going to be encapsulated inside that component and it's not going to leak out. You can write the JavaScript once and then you can use it n number of times on the same page and each one will have its own JavaScript and you don't have to write the JavaScript again. Now it has many other benefits which we will talk about in a moment. But let's talk about its practical use. Now when you're working on any project there are certain components that are usually required on the project. For example, you may require a carousel like this. You may need a form, right? Now a form might also have to have some kind of validation. Like for example, if you click on it, if it's not filled, then it must show the errors. But if you fill it, then of course the error should go off. You might need tabs on the project. You may need Lightbox, for example, if the user clicks on this image, then Lightbox open and the user should be able to navigate through different images, right? You may need an accordion, right? So when you're working on the project and you need these components, you need these functionalities, either you will be using some kind of a library to save time or you will code it on your own. Now, if you're coding on your own, that's fine. But if you're using a library, mostly the libraries come with a lot of baggage. For example, they have their own CSS, they have their JavaScript, and there's usually more code than required and it's very bloated. So it's not very performant. If there was a way that we could have minimalistic code without having to worry about the CSS, because of course your website may have a certain theme, a certain color that you may not need from that library. So you would want to write your own CSS. So if you could have something that is very, very minimalistic, that just gives me the bare bones, we can actually utilize that and build our own components, like an accordion or a carousel or a light box, right? So for this, we have a library called Web Components. Okay, this is an open source from Travelopia. And this one has all of these components that we spoke about. It has an accordion, it has the form component, light box, uh, slider. Uh, you also have the other ones like model, which you're going to talk about in this series. Now, how is this library different from any other library that you may want to use? Well, number one, this uses very, very minimalistic JavaScript. This is using the web components, as you can see, right? This is using the web components and it is very, very customizable. So you take a look at that. These are all web components and each child component has its own JavaScript. And since this component is decomposable, you can use these like Lego blocks. You can basically take whatever you want and you can leave whatever you don't want. So it's totally customizable. And the best part is that it has very, very minimalistic CSS. CSS is just to ensure that your accordion, for example, works. That's all. You can write your own CSS for this and it's going to be super simple. Okay. So let's see an example. For this accordion component, if you see, it's just minimalistic JavaScript and CSS. There's nothing like, it is buttons are not styled, the padding, spacing, nothing is styled basically. So this is very powerful because this means you're not going to have any additional CSS. You're not going to have any bloated JavaScript. It's just what's required. And you have this feature of expand all, collapse all also. So this saves your time because you don't have to write this JavaScript yourself. Uh, you can reuse it and then customize it the way you like. If you don't want the expand all, collapse all feature, you can just remove it, you know, because these are just, you know, web component. You can remove this part and you don't want it you can remove it. There are also events that you can latch on to and then you can perform certain actions. There are methods available that you can call on these web components and uh, perform actions like close it or open it. 
uh, and then there are attributes which you can change the value more details on the next videos but just to let you know that you know these are the benefits uh, or the features that it offers and then once you have the minimalistic one you can actually use that on your project and then style it and after you style it you can look something like this which is great awesome so in this series we're going to talk about the web components and i'm going to give you a demo of each of these components that you can use in your own project and this is a very active project as you can see the last commit was made last week right so this is a very active project with some great developers professional developers and if there is any component that you want for your project which is which is usually used on many of the sites then you can also go ahead and create a github issue over here and request for that component in fact you can also contribute to this project by sending a pull request for your own web component now all of these components that you see over here for example the multi-select because of some of the project you want the multi-select right so these are all built with the web components that i've just shown you over here so the multi-select the carousel the form the tabs the light box accordion all of this is built with the web components so if you inspect element and see you can see that it is actually using the web component so what are the other benefits of using these components as we discussed they are reusable customizable flexible uh, they have an encapsulated styles and behaviors so whatever style you're going to provide will be encapsulated without having to be so won't conflict with the rest of the application you will have isolated functionalities so the logic and behavior of each component are self-contained and the shadow dom feature allows the web component to create and control their own internal structure and style besides that you also get improved performance reduced overhead efficient updates and lazy loading and these web components are actually part of the web api which is great and they will provide you with the consistent user experience for your branding for your design patterns and accessibility all right so in the next video i'm going to show you the demo on how to use some of these web components okay so if you did like the video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and do join the membership for the future updates thank you very much Bye bye